so this is Look85. I'm actually having a hard time finding Gypsy Jazz videos to transcribe licks from. Because I really only want to do like five little licks per video because I feel bad about putting too many licks in per video. And not a lot, all of them have high enough quality that's easy enough to transcribe. So if anyone wants to send me videos that they think I can grab some licks to transcribe from, please do. Otherwise, this lick is actually a clarinet player named Rich Charlusi. It's from Swing Tem's debut album, Cuckoo. Uh, Rich is a world-class clarinet player who sat in just for this tune. It's on Nagasaki. We do it in F. I don't know what the original changes are, but we go F. F sharp, half diminished, G minor, or C. Do that twice. Then we go F, E flat 7, D fully diminished, D flat 9, C. So here's the look. Let me switch to Sibelius here. I'm just going to play it a little slower. We do it about 220. In fact, I, I put it in the intro so you can hear a little brief clip of it. Yeah, that's basically I, I screwed up on the rhythms, but here it is slowly. I'm going to play around an F. It's all very diatonic. I, I did a Artie Shaw lick years ago and notice to that it's very inside the in fact Rich Charlusi directed the Artie Shaw band after Artie Shaw's passing he played the clarinet and did directing for a while so makes sense that he's got the same style but here it is around an F chromatically up to the fifth all right around this F chord here very inside Here's a chromatic walking off from the minor third of F, all the way up to the fifth, an octave, and resolves on the sixth. Very inside lick, but it's very cool. It's very effective. I love Artie Shaw's playing. I love Rich's playing. Here it is. Next few looks are going to, be, going to be from Rich Charlusi on Swing Jatem's album Cuckoo, and the tune is Nagasaki. Yeah.